Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner and our hard mode series as we now uh, attempt to set ourselves up for some logging really but we need to uh, gather up and clear our trucks and sort of take stock of what we've got and what we're doing this is really loud in my headset and um, yeah we'll, uh, we'll get on we noticed that we had some jobs over here left over I might do them before the log and I'm watching them after the log and we'll see, we'll see what we get about. But we don't need this here and we don't need the GMC here either. So we're going to pull them through to the garage over on the dam. Let's get this lined up over here. So yeah, this might be a little bit, a little bit logistics based in what we're doing. We've already got the um, P16 over here. We brought that through last time. That's what we're going to be using. I'm going to try. We're going to tackle the long logs first, I think. So we'll use the uh, the P16 for that. All right, we'll just change trucks, and we should be able to pull that just fine. So yeah, I'm not quite sure what sort of action we'll have. There's, you know, there's me just confidently moving trucks about. There's a there's a chance for a roll, that's for certain. And we'll see we'll see how we go. But you have to have these now and then. We've had a couple of them throughout just <laughs> throughout Michigan so far, where we're just moving trucks about, moving a bit of fuel about, and getting things done. But it's, it's just how it has to be sometimes. I was hoping not to have to bring too many vehicles through to do stuff, but the fact that I need to bring a scout back through, um, probably need to bring, well, I need to bring the Fleet Star or the White Western through to do at least one of the jobs that we've got out here. If I bring the White Western, we can just stick a trailer on it and we can go grab that other um, cargo that's out there. There's just one cargo. I don't know why we've not done it. It's, the, it's like a simple tutorial pickup one. I'm sure we did it. I don't know why it's not. Why it's not completed. I'm sure we did it. Yes, there's that. There's entertainment for the workers, which I had completely forgotten about. And then there was the meteorological data, or data, and yeah, that's another one that really I want the uh, the scale for the Land Rover to toss about in, that be easiest. skip that we've seen that enough times now want to keep wasting the day so yeah as always you know thanks for coming to join us thanks for sticking with the series and <laughs> sticking it out with me we're getting there slowly slowly but surely we're getting there I see uh, a video pop up on my uh, on my homepage on YouTube uh, today, and it was uh, SnowRunner hard mode, but doing it backwards. I was like, oh, perhaps once I finish going forwards, we'll go backwards. We'll be doing this for about 10 years. <laughs> I love it, why not? By then, all, all the maps will be out, even all the new ones coming out this season, or for this series. This series? This season? This year? The passes, I don't know what they are. But yeah, the four new maps. We've got one coming out really soon. Probably be out by the time this gets released, but I know we've got one coming soon.
I do have the season pass brought up, so if anything free comes along with it, you never know. We might. Oh, we won't get a, a truck out of so we don't get free trucks. <laughs> right, so I want to turn the engine off. Make sure the engine's off here. They can just stay there for now, just in case. But they're through. But they'll need filling up with fuel and everything else as well. So, where is the Fleet Star? The Fleet Star's up here. Now, what was I going to do that? I was going to do the thingy run, weren't I? But we need the... Oh, we need the Land Rover as well, don't we? Should we do this jobby? We'll not mess about with it. We'll not. I'll tell you what, we'll not mess about with it. And we'll bring these to get. I don't think I'll be able to fit the Land Rover actually on here. Don't need the fuel trailer. Do you think that'll fit on there? I don't think it will, will it? No, it's not got a got a roof pickup has it this is a shame would have been nice to just be able to pick that up and stick it on the back all right so we'll just put it along with us so we gotta get these at least into uh, Black River. So I say I'll try and be quick as I can, but whenever we start to get a bit of speed, we hit a stone and we've popped way too, way too many wheels, annoyingly. Now we don't have, and this is just going to really bug me, we don't have any fuel in Black River. So I'm going to have to take my fuel trailer all the way back through as well. Perhaps I should have brought that little scout trailer along with me. <laughs> I'm going to use that, but I don't think that'd be enough. Honestly, I think we're going to use up all our fuel during this logging. I've wasted so much. I don't think I'm gonna have enough money comfortably when we when we go to Alaska. Although I think be, I can't recall what they pay out, but I think the log jobs will probably pay out quite a bit. Here's hoping they do. New trucks are dependent on it.
And again, we're going the safe route because we don't want to get stuck, rolled, or battered up. Especially, you know, towing the landy with us. We don't want that completely smacked up. Well, I was going to go for a slide now. I wasn't sure if it had its engine on. It doesn't. I've turned it back off again. You don't need to be wasting fuel. So we, we could have done this delivery down there and had that done, but I just think let's let's just move on. Let's let's get this just get these jobs done. I want to get out of Michigan. I want to get out of Michigan. I want to move on. You know, we'll, we'll still have trucks in our garage when we move, so if I get too desperate, perhaps I can jump back over and, <laughs> and quickly run some paying jobs that way. I hope not. I hope that's not what it comes to. Now, if I recall, there's not a lot in here. It's not too bad. Oh, pulled that out of the Land Rover, which was silly. Why is it not? Because it was given the target. There we go. Down to 900 litres in there. Oh, just under a thousand litres. Seem to be struggling a bit there. We'll go for the all-wheel. Trying to, again, trying to save on a lot of that. Just for this moving about. Rear wheel's enough. Mind stones. Oh, there it is. Bloody stones. So we've got a pop tyre. Right for now. All good. Nice. All right. Let's 
Let's get moving on again. Unless things go sort of wrong, this could be the last time we use the Fleet Star for a while. My beloved Fleet. To say, in, in, my, in my mind, I've got an idea of what I'd like to do when I get to Alaska. I've had that in my, had that in my head quite a while. So that's, that's, that's all a scramble. I think the Land Rover and hopefully the um, Load Star, if we can get one, the Load Star. The GMC edit. Not the GMC, the. Um, oh, I forget now. I told you I forget things. But yeah, the uh, the mod version has a few extra options on it. You have to pay for it though, so it's not like it's free. You have to, uh, to pay extra, I think, for the modded truck, and then obviously you have to pay for the uh, extra options that you get with it. But like I said way back when, about. 45 hours ago I wanted to try and do my best to get through Michigan and get through Alaska and get you know through um, Russia as well now so as quick as I can so I can see some new stuff for myself um, I was ahead on the live stream series that we were doing we were doing it over on Twitch I've stopped streaming on Twitch I was having troubles with Twitch and um, yeah, since then I haven't actually streamed the live stream series. I'd love to find some time to squeeze it in because uh, I enjoy doing that. We're ahead, we do it differently. It's a different, completely different style. So if you've not watched it, all the uh, all the streams are on VODs over here on YouTube, even the Twitch stuff. So if you're interested in some more Snowrunner action, there'll be a playlist somewhere. Promise that we're not going to be using it again. So next up, take the landy to the um, tunnel entrance. Is that the going through? I say we'll put a trailer on the White Western. wonder if there's room for 900 litres of fuel in my fuel trailer truck we might go and um, gather that up put in there as well right so next up is we're getting the Kodiak oh yeah that's nearly empty we shall Detach. I know a lot of this might seem redundant because we've moved so much of this stuff about, but I now need it all for log set up for logging, so I need fuel where I'm gonna be getting my logs from. We have another fuel trailer at the farm that we can fuel up from here. We have a um, fuel trailer, a large fuel trailer, annoyingly, in Drummond, and we have a large fuel trailer at the gateway to to here as well, which is um, for the um, Island Lakes. But that is it. That's all the fuel we have. It's very, very lacking. Let me show what tyres we have on here. 
Oh, they're good enough. Yeah, these should be all right. I mean, once we get some more upgrades for the the Kodiak, I mean, this is going to get a lot better and a lot more versatile on the other maps as well. Not if I break it before it gets there, but it should do. It should be of uh, more use to us. Well, it'll just be a more capable fuel and sort of repair truck is what it's going to be. Get used to seeing this one chugging about the maps with with fuel and a, a repair trailer on the back. A spare parts trailer. So for when we get to Alaska, this will probably get pulled through along with the the Land Rover to start with. I'm saying if we can, if I can afford to buy a Lone Star. I'll be set up to do quite a bit on that map before before really needing to do much more with bringing trucks through and what have you. There's plenty of trucks to recover there and and do. So we've got snow uh, tyres, chains and ice tyres and that unlocked. Why am I attaching? I don't need to do that. I don't think, anyway. So, refuel. There we are, all gone. You are redundant, my friend. So we'll bring this, we'll take this, and we'll swap over with the White Western Star. The White Western Star has a trailer with spare parts in it. Unfortunately, I don't think it has the tyres or wheels in, but we've got wheels in the other trailer. We can't move them over, which is a bit of a bummer. Bouncy as hell. Need to stiffen up that the suspension a bit. I want it raised, but I want it a little bit stiffer. Can we have that? That would be cool for the next um, full-on snow runner game. Uh, the ability to sort of customise the the stiffness of, of your setup and stuff like that. Sort of really uh, choose your ride height specifically, choose your, your stiffness specifically, and that would be nice. Because at the minute, you know, you put on your raised and suddenly you're so unstable, but you didn't necessarily want it raised that much. Like, we don't need this raised as much as it is. Just raised a little bit would have been nice, just so you can, just so you can squeeze on the, uh, the larger tyres. So if you could have raised it just a little bit with a relatively stiff suspension so it don't come bouncing right down on the tyres. That'd be cool. Move forward a bit because we'll tell these together as well. Standard. Oh, that more than standard. That that is foreseen.
we go. How we'll get this around the bend is going to be uh, interesting, but we'll try. I don't like doing um, tandem truck tows. I generally lose one of them. Even on easy flat terrain. I was watching a Twitch, uh, Twitch stream a while back. Chat was pulling double log trailer on double log trailer with all sorts of crazy terrain and he was comfortable and casual doing that and I just thought if I tried that they would be rolling everywhere envious I was envious And I might be mistaken, but I think we can do more um, plank runs and more um, consumable runs in um, Black River. Because initially I thought it was three with your max, but I think that's that got changed somewhere along the lines from when I first started playing the game and, and tried hard mode and failed and <laughs> never went back to it. To be in five, because obviously we, we found out we could do five runs for different things. Now, I'm not sure if we did all five, because I did three and then was surprised that it said you could still do some. And I think we did one or two more, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, if, if things get a bit tough, there is, there is that option. While I'm in there, to stick a trailer on the back and try that. I doubt we will, but let's be confident. Let's be confident, and things are going to go well with the login. Obviously. I'm still not sure whether I should... Oh, I know I should. Uh, load them all manually. Just some of them manually, or just pay the price to have them, <laughs> have them loaded into my trailers, the logs. I'm not exactly um, highly skilled with the cranes, as it is, once we've got logs on there, probably your tits up. We always had to do logs manually in um, mud runner and I think it's spin tires or spin tires had logs, it was always manual. What was it? No, I don't think it was. Or did that get patched so you could do that automatically as well? I know on the train and stuff you had to do it manually. There was parts we had to like reverse into these different areas and pick the logs up off the floor and then load them into your tra um, trailer. And you had to do it without causing any, any damage to the area so you weren't allowed to take out the fences and you weren't allowed to take out like dog houses and sheds and stuff like that. So you had to be really careful with it didn't have any trouble with that, but I know that in the past, doing manual loading and snow runner, I have had the odd issue. Unfortunately, we can't take all three, all 
three through. Skip that again. So let me pull the one I want. It is. I'm gonna lie, I weren't even sure if we were gonna be able to attach while it was still in ghost form, so. Colour me impressed. Now, I'm not sure if the Kodiak will make it through the the shortcut because where I want it is in here missing machinery what that's the one with the drilling parts We've done that. We have definitely done that. See, I thought it was this one. I'm sure we've done that. I'm going to go back and check through. I swear we did that. So I thought the one that it wanted me to go and do was, yeah, I thought it was the one we'd be picking up here and, and dropping there because I thought I'd done that as well. I felt sure we'd done this where I go up in here and grab it and bring it out, do one at a time, and then I go up in here and and do. I did it with a fleet star. I am. Yeah. We'll show you that. But anyway, yeah, I'm not sure if this all if the Kodiak will make it through the, the crappy area, so I think I have to go all the way around for that. Oh, I am so annoyed with that. But obviously I need to do it. Or do it again. I'm gonna check the titles on the uh, on the previous episodes and see what they say. If any of them say missing machinery, I'm not done a second time. <laughs> that's, that's annoyed me. So I'm pretty sure with a harped on about how I find it one of the more challenging jobs, because I do. I always roll a truck doing it, or nearly roll a truck at least. So where am I going to put you then, mate? Because I need a, I need a bed on the back of this now. If we've got to go get four, I need a bed and a trailer. And we're not doing that today. <laughs> oh, this is really annoying. It's going to be wasting fuel all over the shop now. Might as well just succumb to buying it. So where else have we got trailers? We've got a trailer there. That round flatbed takes four. So I'm still want to do it with a four. I'd rather do it with a, a flatbed and then and then a double trailer. Are there any trailers up here still? No. 
<laughs> Why did I dump all my trailers? That must just be that one. So I just delete. Oh, we got one there. I saw it out of the way though. Okay. Fueled again. I'm gonna take out the Chevy, aren't I? I mean, I'm gonna to have to bring the, the Chevy around later as well, because it's gonna to have to be further through, but I don't fancy pulling trailer, truck trailer. Like I say, that only ever goes wrong for me when I do stuff like that. I thought I was coming over here to get log and ready. I thought I was just gonna have that one little one little package to pick up. But it's not. We've got to go all the way to the garage. Let's get a, let's get a flatbed to put on the back as well. Yeah, just thinking now. So gonna need to put I need to put log and crane on here as well, and then I'm gonna want to put the log and bed on here. We're gonna do mediums. It's gonna just gonna become a real pain in the back, <laughs> real pain in the backside. I don't want to drive it so slow either. Yeah, so I can't even take like the shortcut across through the river to get to the the pickups for those. Oh, I, feel, I just feel sure we did it. This is the problem I have with um, like at the time I was running multiple saves, so I had the stream save, although it was long cleared, and have this save. I did have a second PC. Or a third, sorry, PC one that I was just sort of messing around on. And also a console one I've not touched. I deleted the third PC one. And I've not touched the console one in a long time. But I feel sure, feel sure we did, oh I did, that job on all of them. And especially did it on this one. I would have definitely been my normal, miserable, moany self. And panicking. Pretty sure I can remember people commenting on that episode as well. Now, I was then wondering, 
Prince of Silence. I was wondering if I did them on one of those episodes where the next time I came in and I had to wait for the day to cycle around again for it to be the correct time for us to start and didn't save. But the game saves like every 10 minutes, or like auto save every time we do something. So it definitely would have saved as we completed the job. It would have saved as I loaded the trailers. And it would have saved as I delivered them. I'm almost inclined to pause the recording and, <laughs> and go and search on the on the playlist. I won't, I'll just get set up ready to do it and then I'll bring through the Land Rover and I'll get the P16 set up. I'll continue with what was my plan of getting things set up. We've just got to set up a little bit different now. That's the, that's the trouble. Setting up a little bit different. And that's another whole another whole episode of me just doing that one job because it takes me a while because I struggle with it. Right, let's, uh, let's see if we've got a bed. I think we've got a spare one. It's been a while since we've done any truck customization, I think. Um, what have we got? Have I gone past sideboard beds? I must have done. Oh, we got one here. That one would do. These are the ones I like. The uh... And there's um, trailers to go with them as well. But like I say, they're expensive and you don't get money back for trailers. Four nine. I think the other one's cheaper. We, we can get it. We'll... Oh no, they're the same price. I'm going to go with the cargo bed. Just because I tend to tip a lot. I know we could jump to the Fleet Star and put that in the garage and take it off and, and do all that juicy goodness. We could, but we won't. Attach. I saw I could have sworn this was something we could have done. No. No, on this one we can't. Sweet. Okay, well I guess we're doing them two at a time, not then all all four in one delivery. So we shall go and get this as close to where it needs to be. We're pretty much going to take this to the uh, logging area because that's where the first two are. We'll get everything. Try and well, we'll try and get the rest of the uh, machinery that we want to the logging area. But we're going to have to bring this out and take this back with a log crane on it because this is the one I was going to use for log cranes as well. Since it's already set up with tyres and everything else, it's going to get it about and do stuff with, rather than like setting up the GMC. We've, we've wasted again. We've wasted more than enough money on doing tyres and, and what have you for all the different trucks. So and I don't think I don't think I kept any of their standard tyres to switch them back, switch them back over. So we could be more conservative going forwards. Because you know, I do see other other guys 
and girls uh, playing and they some of them anyway the, the smarter ones <laughs> the ones that are smarter than me use like just a couple of sets of tires so instead of having like six tires or, or six trucks of all the same tires on because you're only ever using two or three trucks at a time normally they'll um, put the specific tires on that they want on those trucks and the rest will be having standards on and they'll do the same with other sort of upgrades and, and what have you whereas obviously I go ooh new tires let's jam new tires on everything and then you know four or five levels later ooh new tires let's jam new tires on everything I'll try not to do that so much going forwards. But everything that we use, again, in Alaska, we'll want, probably want snow tires on if we can. Want chains. Although chains aren't good in deep snow. Schwein. Yeah, and I'm only going to go as far as the logging camp because then when I bring the fuel trailer through, we'll be able to top up again. This is going to be low. I'm actually quite looking forward to the login deliveries. It's something a bit different. They can be a little bit more of a challenge, which I do enjoy the challenge. This, that is what this is all about. But the uh, the last order, the last two orders, I mean, although they're, they're big, like the super order and, and the, the concrete for everywhere, they're big orders, they involve going back and forth and visiting quite a few different places, but the actual deliveries themselves aren't necessarily all that much of a challenge. So park this here. And then we'll I'm not try and bring the Chevy over. Oh, it's gonna struggle, isn't it? <laughs> Get our, our log carrying whatnots all set up on the P16, and then we'll bring the ship over. We'll get upset about that last. So, spending money now as well, and we don't have a lot, do we? 150. And I need about 80, 85. For the load star might even be more with the uh, the upgrades I want to get. Should we have a little driving cab? Since we've not got anything to really worry about here. <laughs> Famous last words. This is the most rolled truck, I think. Or maybe the fleet stories, but this is <laughs> the second most rolled truck. With me at the wheel, there's always something to worry about.
Is this engine still running? So lights are on. Just sitting there wasting fuel. Like I wish we had the finances to be able to sell the P16 and buy the the modded P16. Just because you could do a little bit more with it then. And it'd be different from like how everyone else has done their P16 and, and done their login and stuff. Just don't have that money. And I'm not sure with knowing what trucks are coming in Alaska, I'm not sure if I want to really use the P16 there. So then the P16 might not get seen again for a couple of maps. Because when we got Russia, we're going to try and just stick with Russian trucks or Russian, European, Eurasian vehicles. So we, I don't know, I've said before, we might take the Land Rover there anyway. Just because it's our scout and you can have Land Rovers all over the world quite easily. I did do a little bit of research on what I'd like to get for first vehicles in Russia from when I went there on the other series. Like for like first like big truck, I've got a mod one that I want to use. Um, not even a, like a, a cheaty mod one, but just like a, a different brand and one that I don't think others that have done a, a hard play or maybe even a, a regular series would have used. Especially those that did them early game, because some of these mods didn't come until much later on. Just need to get there, and missing jobs out like I've done here is not going to help us get there. Sun's nearly up as well. Now I might need the P16 just to get the Kodiak up past some of the uh, treacherous trail. With its locked trailer on the back as well. Be a mess, an absolute mess. probably could even take the Kodiak in and see if I have actually got any upgrades for it. I don't know when it last went in to have a look. Possibly when we put the tyres on, but that might have been when we turned it into a fuel trailer. Off the top of my head, I can't remember what um, Kodiak upgrades we picked up from within the map and what unlocks as we've leveled up. I don't remember what level we are. 18. I was hoping we'd get these to the Logan area, but I can uh, tell we're not going to do that, are we? Not by the time I finish faffing around putting the, uh, the necessaries on the P16.
until we get a much shifty on, can we? We do it going a little bit quicker. Oh, could do a look at where I'm going. Oh, I just give myself a flat, haven't I? What an absolute idiot. It's going to make logging easier, isn't it? I think there's a repair service point somewhere. Is there? Obviously not there. So not one here. No, not one there. Uh, no, there ain't. There isn't one. You are joking. No, no way to get a wheel or a tire from. That's all. Oh, it's alright, we got a wheel. It's alright. There we go. Oh. Can you know I forgot we changed over the uh, trailer. So I get for trying to have a nice little look at the morning dew. Trying to, trying to get a shot that might work as the thumbnail or something. Fannied about with that trailer when I didn't need to as well. for time. Uh, I'll do what I can. Right, let's try and be quick. Frame on on at back. Yeah, so that is... What's the difference? The bulk rear bunker and the stock rear bunker. Bulk rear bunker, stock rear bunker. That is the log carrier flatbed. Now, if we use that one, we have to use that. I can't, I'm not sure what's different. We've got the specialised log carrier. But well, that's modded. Or it is a mod. We're modded. I don't know what, what difference it does. But I think oh I think it has off-road tires on. I think the FTD trailer has off-road tires. So if we buy that one. Uh, nothing else for this, is there? Special fine-tuned advanced engine. Suspension stock. Tires are tires. Uh, winch is stock heavy, snorkel is what it is. Yeah, so there's not, not many options on this, is there? All right, let's leave. So then we want to find... So many trailers. That's what I mean. So many, and I'm not going to get to use any of them. I wish it just filtered those that are currently compatible rather than cycling through all the ones you can't get. Just no, we don't want that. Which way is it? It'll be off road log trailer. Yeah, I think that's it. Although that's not going to cost us anything, I'm not going to complain about that. We paid six grand for the front. Oh, what am I doing? So we are, in fairness, we, we could start long logs without doing anything else with it. Let's change 
Sharks come and make sure that that's turned off. But that is going to be it. That is definitely our time. Um, yeah, so it's just, just a bit of a setup episode and a lot of confusion as to that job. I am going to go and scour through the titles of the previous episodes to see if miss, missing machinery is already done. I mean, we need to do it to get 100%, obviously. If it's still showing there, but I, I swear we did it. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I say, not a lot of action, but, you know, we've, we've got to get the vehicles in position to do the action. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.